Hello, this is Big Al, and welcome to another card opening video. Today, I am going to be opening a box of 2021 Topps Chrome Update Series. Uh, I know I had said in my last video that it was probably the last time we were going to be featuring uh, 2021 Topps design, but I saw this product online and decided that um, it was worth picking up. Uh, so basically what this is, is, is it is uh, the Topps update series that we have seen in previous videos quite a bit. And they take the cards from there and give them the, tro the chrome treatment. So it is just like the Topps chrome set, but it's the update series cards uh, that are getting uh, chrome versions. Now the update series... Um, the normal update series has 330 cards in it, uh, but they don't have a Chrome uh, version for every uh, card in that checklist. This checklist has only 100 cards uh, in the Topps Chrome update checklist. Uh, so what we'd be looking for here probably would be uh, the top rookies in a Chrome form. And there are a lot of rookies in Topps update. Uh, uh, the top rookies in here would be uh, Jared Kelnick, uh, Jonathan India, Andrew Vaughn. Uh, I think those are probably the top ones. And they have a regular rookie card and also a rookie debut card for each of them. Uh, so if we could get them in the Chrome uh, rookie card, uh, that would be great. Also, there are parallels in this set. So... If we get a parallel rookie card, uh, that would be even better. I know there is a purple parallel in every pack, um, but there are also other parallels that we can get. And just taking a look at the box, it does say look for autographs and one of one super fractors. That's probably pretty unlikely to find, uh, but obviously they are out there. Um, if you look at the box, it has uh, 10 packs with four cards per pack uh, so there are 40 total cards in this box so let's uh pop it open take a look at what we get i am gonna guess that this time this is the last 2021 tops product that will be featured on a video I'm, i mean there could be packs here and there uh, but I think this might be the last time where it's like the featured item um, box that I'm opening. I think we're going to move on to 2022, which comes out next week on the 16th. And just as a preview, I do have some 2022 Tops product ordered. Uh, so that will be coming. I don't know exactly when I will be getting it, but I do have it ordered and I am anxiously waiting for it to arrive. So... Let's see our 10 packs, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So we have our 10 packs. Like I said, again, we'll be looking for the rookie cards, parallel cards, and of course, on the Big Al channel, Brewer cards. And the very first card I open is a Willie Adamas Brewer card. Obviously, Brewer fans like Willie Adamas, and it's the very first card I pulled. So we're off to a good start. So we'll set him aside. Willie starts our Brewer pile. Here we have a purple parallel of a rookie debut of Christian Pache. So I'll set that aside, the purples. Uh, platinum players, Tony Gwynn in a, little, in a die cut card. And then a rookie debut of Estevan Floreal. I'm not sure what this platinum player looks like. It's a all oh, the seventy, probably for seventy for seventy years of tops, maybe. But, so, like I said, we opened with a bang for my channel with that Willie Adamas Brewer card, like that. Here's another good rookie card, and that is. Keep Ryan Hayes, rookie debut. That's a nice one. I'll set that aside. Uh, Clark Schmidt, rookie debut. Brett Honeywell, rookie in purple. And Kiebert Ruiz, rookie debut. 
All right, let's move on. And we have start to hit this one is a Shane McClanahan rookie. The purple is a Tyson Miller rookie card. And we have a nice one here, I think. A uh, Topps Black Gold Mike Trout. Don't know, I don't think these are numbered at all, but it's a chrome Topps Black Gold insert of Mike Trout. Really like that card. I remember really liking the Topps Black Gold back it was in like 1993. Um, had some of those. Evan White, a rookie card, finishes that pack. I actually have a story of the Topps Black Gold. When I was going back through my collection early, like about a year ago now, and I got my cards out of the boxes and the closet, I found a Topps Black Gold like redemption card where I believe it looked like I could have sent it in to get the entire Topps Black Gold set. But I never did that. And I still have the redemption card. So, yeah, that was probably a wasted opportunity. Um, this set, this pack starts with an Andrew Vaughn rookie debut. That's one of the ones we said to look for. So I'll put that in the rookie card pile. Taylor Trammell, uh, purple. Uh, Trevor Rogers, all-star game card, rookie card. And it ends Nick Gordon rookie card. So, I don't know if those Topps Black Gold Redemption cards have any value. Probably not. But, and I don't know why I didn't send it in. But, I have the Redemption. Just don't have the Topps Black Gold set. But I really like this Mike Trout card. That's, that's a great card. Uh, here's a Geraldo Perdomo. Hirozaka Sawamura. The purple is Zach Wheeler. And Luis Patino. And you'll notice, just like in the tops, regular Tops Update series, there are tons of rookie cards. Seems like, what, three out of every four cards in these packs are rookie cards. Here's another one of the top rookie cards, Akil Badu. So I'll set him aside with the rookie cards. Kevin Pillar. Runette Ordur. And Andrew Vaughn, who's a uh, regular uh, rookie card, not the rookie debut, his base rookie card. So that's a nice one. So we're getting some good rookie cards. And the Odor was the purple. I didn't set that aside. So we are finding some good rookie cards, some good, nice cards here. Uh, Char Charlie Morton. The purple is Marcus Simeon. And here's another uh, die cast platinum players die cut the, with George Brett. So I'll put that up here with Tony Gwynn and Nate Lowe. I found this box on Target.com. I don't know if it's a Target.com exclusive. I did not have not seen it on the shelves anywhere. Um, I only found it online on Target.com, so I decided to pick one up. Uh, here is Mark Melanson. The purple is Lance Lynn. And we have another Topps Black Gold card of Cody Bellinger. So another nice, another Topps Black Gold like that. And Wilson Ramos. And we have just a couple packs left. And here we go, a Jonathan India rookie card. Um... So I'm getting a lot. I'm getting a lot of the top rookies. Uh, a Khalil Lee purple, Brian Reynolds all-star game card, and Hunter Renfro, shown as a Red Sox, but now he is a Brewer. Brewers traded for Hunter Renfro just before the lockout started. Got it right in under the under the deadline before the players were locked out. Hopefully all that gets resolved. The less I say about it, the better, probably. But let's just hope there's baseball. Um, here we go. Brian Garcia. The purple is Logan Gilbert. Uh, Debbie Garcia. And Alec Manoa, rookie card. That's another pretty nice one. So I'll set that aside. 
So let's take a look at what we have. We have our purple cards, uh, one in each pack. And I won't go through, and my cat is visiting me again on the table, so that's, so say hi to her, um, if you can see her in the, in the shot. But those are our 10 purple cards. We got a lot of nice rookies, Alec Manoa, Jonathan India, Andrew Vaughn base card, Akil Badu, the Andrew Vaughn rookie debut card, and the Key Brian Hayes rookie debut card. But the only thing we're missing is uh, a Jared Kelnick. Uh, then we got two of these uh, platinum player cards, uh, Tony Gwynn and George Brett, and two Topps Black Gold, which I'm very excited about, especially the Mike Trout. Really like these cards. And then finally, for my Brewer fan friends, the very first card in the box was this nice Willie Adamas. So no autographs or relics, um, but I didn't really expect one. Uh, but uh, that's uh, it for the Topps uh, Chrome update. Um, like I said, this will probably be the last video featuring the 2021 design. Um, look for 2022 tops coming up um, as soon as I can get my hands on some. Uh, really looking forward to that. And I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Give it a like. And also uh, subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate the support. And don't forget to hit that uh, little bell and say uh, and select all. That way you would get notified every time I post a new video. So that's it for now. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, I will talk to you later. Bye.